Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of D4DJ Petite Mix. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh, Saudi! My baby! Oh. Look how cute they are, oh my god! Mm. <laughs> 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 Only you. Look how cute they are, oh my god. It's going to be a girl's night by the end of this episode. <laughs> hmm? Oh, you got a cat. Over eats. <laughs> With her McDonald's. <laughs> You're right. So, what did Rika and Micah get? Rika, what the hell? Yo, oh my god. Okay, to finally have, like, a, a little mini episode focus on them, I'm happy. Because, of course, both Rondo, Mermaid, and Lyrical Lily, they didn't get to have, like, a big impact on season one of D4DJ. So, of course, a lot of us, including me and my friend, are really hoping that um in season two rondo lyrical lily and mermaid do get the focus that they they need and so i'm kind of hoping that what they do with like you know how like the poster for season one only featured happy around um fontana and peaky peaky what i'm hoping is that season two's poster poster features everybody and when i mean everybody i do mean every single unit plus um nana Mizuki's character rochelle's character um hell maybe even the 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 master who owns the cafe who works on Nanamiski's character and then the girls who are being featured currently into the D the road to D Fest thing are like no just D4 Fest D4 Fest not the road to D4 Fest um so as of right now because the only one who's been featured in that game for the story wise is the girl who sung um who did a cover of um the pop team epic opening and such she's the only one as of right now but i think the other two who i believe are going to be in units with nanami with nanami's his character and michelle's characters um they're essentially going to get something eventually when we get to the other story aspects because right now i know we're still currently in the very four um the very four the very first uh d4 fest event because i know like the last time i checked because mainly because like i finished the event day one <laughs> um 
and I've been trying my hardest not to pull for the Mica in the D4 Fest gotcha because that and the Ray, because those two cards are so freaking pretty. It's just like an alternate costume of their outfits, and I love it so much, especially like Marika, because Mermaid and Rondo are my two best units for this game, and then Rika, um, not Rika, Ray and Kyoko are my two other best girls, adding the first eight girls from Mondo and Mermaid, and then those two. So, I mean, but yeah, I'm happy because this week featured, you know, Best Girls Mermaid, and next week featured Rondo, and wonder what the hell they're gonna do, but the fact is that it was <laughs> a conference call, and such, like, my friend texted me, like, a couple of hours ago with, like, a screenshot and everything, and saying that they had their own pandemic, and <laughs> And I couldn't help but laugh. And it was worse now actually watching this episode. And freaking Marika's like, oh, hey, my Uber Eats is here. <laughs> I mean, because, like, okay, when this pandemic started, like, be a little honest with yourself. Like, I, I will tell you, I ordered Uber Eats. Like, when I got my stimulus check and everything, I, I ordered Uber Eats a lot. And not a lot, a lot. Maybe, like, more than like three to five times but not like every single day because like there there's just one lady in my neighborhood in my cul-de-sac who was ordering it like every single freaking day breakfast lunch and dinner and then anything else on the side and I was like damn bitch I was like come on man like I only do it if like my mom is too lazy to like <clears throat> go to the store or if I'm too lazy to go to the store or if my mom works and I don't have anybody to take me and I don't feel like walking, especially when it is nighttime and I'm like, uh, you ain't gonna send me out there in the middle of the night. That's when I'll order something and stuff like that. Because like this past few weeks I've been craving something sweet and I want to go to the store and such and my mom's home and I'm like, yeah, look, come on, let's go to the store, gas station, something. I like candy or some ice cream or something. I've been craving ice cream for the last few weeks. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, even seeing Mariko wear some sweatpants, and in the end, all four of them were wearing sweatpants. Hell, Saudi, her freaking, <laughs> her, her camera just stuttering because her Wi-Fi connection going bad. Like, that was hilarious. My poor best girl. And then, okay, here's the one thing that we found out today, because a lot of things are also happening today. As of right now, there's a campaign to get um, tickets. And I'm guessing we're probably going to get, like, a, a big 10 plus 1 ticket. And then they're all, well, I think, what, this weekend? Or maybe even in the next few minutes, because it's almost 2 o'clock. Um, so, probably before I watch um, Spider, I'll check my phone and see if they'll give us that. So, not only are we supposed to be, we're in this little contest thingy to, or, like, something. If we get a certain amount of quote tweets, or, no, retweets, if we get, like, 10,000, we get a 10 plus 1 ticket. And then they're also giving us, of course, another, like, five more 10 plus 1 tickets. And ish. Um, and then plus the freaking, the, the freaking gems that we've been getting ever since last week. Plus the, the ticket that we're supposed to be getting. Hopefully this weekend. And I already know who I kind of going to pick. Because I'm choosing between Rondo and Mermaid. And it's super hard. Because from both groups, I only need two girls left. And for Mermaid, that's Marika and Rika. And for Rondo, that is Hiro and um, Aoi. They're the only two. And every single, like, oh my god. When we got them free, like, I think 200 pulls, I waited until the last freaking day. And I said, alright, on the last day when I get all my tickets, I'm going all off and praying to God. I manifested from day freaking one. I was like, these are the cards that I want to come home. These are the only cards that I need left to complete um, the initial four-star groups. That's it. <laughs> the only one who came home was Tsubaki. Yeah, because I already had Nagisa. And Saudi was the first one who came home for me. So she initially was my best girl. Then Dahlia came home. Then Nagisa. Then Tsubasa. And so now I just need my last four girls and they are being so freaking hard headed to come home. And then the D4 Fest gotcha comes out and Marika's just there. And I'm like, I want to scout for you so freaking bad, but I need to save my gems because, okay, last year when the game officially came out and we got to Saudi's birthday and I want her birthday card. Her birthday card, literally, Rondo and Mermaid's birthday cards are like a goal for me. So I'm trying to save as much as I can. This is how, like, in Benzity, I'm currently trying to save for Rosalia Brides for June. That's how I feel. 
and it's just like oh my god and then like because temptation is just everywhere and it's just there and i'm like oh my god like this is such a pretty card i want it and it's just oh, i hate it <laughs> i love it but i hate it so i'm literally trying to tell myself not to scout no matter what <laughs> until we get them free tickets once we get them free tickets a total of six tickets so there'll be 60 bowls that's when i'll scout and praying to god that you know them final four people come <laughs> but yeah this is an adorable episode but other than that guys that is my reaction to episode episode five of the 4 dj petite mix if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next friday for episode six bye guys